Hello, I'm Jess, and welcome to A Week in My Life as an Artist this spring. Usually each week there is one central piece on the easel, and last week it was another dream. I find that whatever is on my easel is what gets the most work, which makes sense. It's just really easy for me to take a seat at the bench, even if it's just for 20 minutes or something, and do a little bit of work on this. Monday is one of the more relaxed days in my week. I have found that I really like to ease my way gently into the creative week. I do work a really full day on Saturday, so Sunday and Monday I try to relax a little bit more, and that does not mean that I don't do any painting. It more means that I don't really do any email checking or computer work. And from a creative perspective, my new ritual that I am loving is on Monday, I switch out the painting on my easel to get ready for the upcoming week of painting. I have a pretty involved morning routine. I usually get up before dawn around 6 a.m. I'll fix myself my breakfast drink, go out to the sunroom, and spend the first hour or so of my day just kind of immersing myself in inspiring readings, little bits of research about topics that are interesting me. So hello, we have already started this week, but Tuesday is my official start the week day. And one of the very cool things about being an artist is I kind of get to determine my own rhythms. These are things that both evolve over seasons, but have also just evolved as I learn more about myself and I become more myself and I grow up and things change. So at this point, I am in a pretty good place with rhythms that work for me. And one of the things that I touched on yesterday was that Monday is not really a day when I'm ready to just get up and go. Tuesday, however, is when I am totally ready to get in gear. Thank you. 
right now, of course, art criticism is essential in the art world. I always feel like such an adult when I watch these videos back and I notice how much water I drink. This is a part of the creative process that I don't often capture, where a piece starts to become something. It is a really tender part and I find that I need to be really fully present for it and having that dimension of the camera makes me a little self-conscious and sometimes I feel like it makes the work self-conscious too. So here is a rare glimpse into all of the crazy shapes <laughs> that emerge. There is a good bit of sitting in front of the computer doing administrative work in my life as an artist. I would say that I spend as much time in front of the computer as I do in front of the canvas. And I'm finally getting to a point where this doesn't feel as annoying to me as it once did. I'm kind of making peace with it. And part of that is finally having an office that I want to be in. Right now, I am in the midst of refreshing my website to present to galleries. Previously, my website was a lot more focused on selling my reproductions, but now I'm really at a point where I'm very clear that I want to move into being a gallery artist and I want my website to reflect that. So it's been really lovely shooting my body of work and slowly but surely putting this website together. The best thing that I can do after a good few hours of sitting in front of a computer is get my body outside. This is really the most beautiful time of year in Austin. My garden is also really large and used to just be a bunch of grass. Over time, I have kind of done a little bit of a mix of rewilding and putting in some raised beds and sowing seeds and also letting a lot of native seeds take root. It is one of my favorite places to be and I have found the mix between the doing art and gardening to just be such a beautiful symbiotic balance for me because this is the place where I can find my ground again. Good morning. This is my tiny bedroom. My current office right now used to be my bedroom, and that is the master bedroom of the house. But last year, for my 40th birthday, I decided that I really needed a change. I turned this former office into my bedroom nook. Pierre loves it in here, he sleeps in here all day, and I have a few various paintings on the wall, and I also have my meditation cushion in my former closet. So this is kind of my Zen Den. Today, I have a lunch date. with two dear friends and one of whom Karen is moving next week and I am going to miss her so dearly. So we're having a gorgeous lunch at this spot called Hank's, which is six minutes away from my house. The weather here is absolutely gorgeous and it feels so nice to get out and have some good conversation. 
And this afternoon, I think that I am not going to don the overalls and go into the painting studio. I think I'm actually going to stay in the front room studio. The painting studio is like a whole mindset that I go into. And sometimes when I get in there, I find it hard to leave. So I am just going to finish this peony piece. It's an oil painting. I did it very fast. I was in a little bit of a a dark floral mood this spring and I don't exactly know where that came from, but I do know that I need to finish it. I have a tendency of starting whimsical directions and then getting a bit bored of them and not finishing them. It's stuff that I do to remind myself that I know how to paint if you know what I mean. And the funny thing about this is it's like opening Pandora's box because you look at a piece on a canvas and you tell yourself, well, it just needs a, a couple little bits and it'll be totally easy. But then you start to make marks and you start to think, oh, have I made this better or worse? And that's kind of the eternal question of art. When do I stop? And when am I starting to actually not make it better? I am a little bit bummed out because I've been chattering away to this camera all day and I just <laughs> exported all of the footage and I realized that it was all on slow-mo. So still definitely learning this camera and how to operate it. And I guess this won't be <laughs> as chatty of a vlog as I thought it would be, but I still captured a lot of good process stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it anyway. And this is an extreme day of all of the things. We did a little bit of everything and it's definitely a more happening day than I usually have in my life, but it feels kind of lovely and appropriate for spring. And when flow happens, like you roll with it. So, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful spring as well. And I would love to know what is going on in the art studio for you. What have you guys got on the easel and on the canvas until we meet again? Good job. Shoes out himself today. He did today? Today.
You're getting good at this. Now, those are the hardest, the duckies. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Was that in one of the vlogs? Yeah. 